guys, Capper here, and welcome back. Today I'm gonna do a review, a full one year review of our Polaris Ranger XP 1000 North Star Edition. First, I'm gonna run over the options that we got on it, why I got all the options, and how, for the most part, I put every option to use in one way or another. So we've had it for almost a year now, and it has been a very good machine. There was one recall, I believe, for overheating. And we are stalled right now. Okay, there it is right there, the red gauge. Too fitty. It's a little hot. And it was the, the electric fan. And what happens is if you hit water, it shuts that fan off. And it, it was supposed to kick back on, but it wasn't. So I took it in, they replaced the fan. I've not had one overheating issue since then. So let's get into some of the rides that we've had and some of the things that we've used on it. And I'll let you know what I think about it. Okay, the first upgrade that I did was these Maxxis heavy duty tires. I'm gonna show you a real quick clip here of the traction that I got from them. but they're six ply tires, which was the real reason that I got them because I tend to pop tires all the time on tractors and four wheelers and UTVs. So I wanted the heavier duty six plies to help reduce uh, you know, potential holes in popping them down the road. All right, blind washouts. This is it, boy, I hit one, almost tipped. But just look at here. This is a straight down, there's a culvert right here. And it's, you know, 10 feet straight down. Okay, this thing is equipped with front and rear cameras. You know, at first glance, you're like, oh, I don't need cameras. But when you start using them, I've actually, particularly the back one, when you're hooking up implements to the back or when you're uh, running like a drag or something, you can keep the camera on so you can monitor what's going on behind you. So I've, I've found that feature helpful. Okay, I also ponied up extra for the glass windshield and the push-out windshield. Those were two separate options. All right, it's an absolutely beautiful night. Friday night, Mrs. Capper had a long work week. And the glass is just super nice uh, to keep it clean. That's just all there is to it. It's like your car or truck windshield. Wipers have a low and a high and a uh, sprayer. Yeah, there's a bug right here. And being able to push it out like this on like spring days or fall days when you want some air is also really nice. I use that several times. We got the windshield open the mirror out of your way I got the high def uh, uh, the high def GoPro this time got a nice ice down coca-cola with just a little bit of flavoring in it three or four fingers worth One shot with the backup pin. Okay, the North Star, in case you don't know, is the cab model. It's fully enclosed cab model with a nice, very wide bench seat and it does have heat and air conditioning. I think he likes the air. Do you like the air conditioner? Yes, it feels good in here. <laughs> <laughs> Which was one of the determining factors of when I bought it, was both the heat and the air conditioning. 
Uh, it does have the computer system with a radio and GPS mapping and so forth. So I'm following my track back. There's a whole bunch of sets of trails that are winding. Man, here's another one of these steep, wow. Haven't used a GPS much yet, although I did use it in Kentucky a couple of times. So at first I'm like, wait a minute, we're kind of going the wrong way. We should be doing a big loop like this. But then when you zoom all the way out, then you could kind of see now we're starting it. Now we're going on the loops. Uh, the windshield wiper is very nice. It works very well in the rain. We've used that quite a bit. Or even if you splash through a mud puddle or something, it works very nice at clearing the windshield off. The modes, I really like the way Polaris has the modes. You have basically one wheel drive, which is turf mode, or you can lock just the rear differential, or you put it all the way in true four wheel drive, and it senses which tires are slipping and it locks everything in. So it works extremely well. I have not got this machine stuck yet. It also has the three engine modes, which they all make a difference. The work mode, which I use when uh, like I'm towing something heavy, a trailer behind it, or when I'm pulling the heavy drag up and down the driveway or on a food plot. All right, 1,400 pounds dry weight. You know standard and performance i did use that a little bit on our uh, trail ride we had here a few months ago these are extra light bars that i had them install one front and one in the rear the windows they're all roll down windows and they're very nice once again you might think yeah i don't i don't know about a cab but when you talk to people who have bought a vehicle with a cab like whether it's a tractor or one of these then they realize wow this is really nice having a cab there's just no doubt about it you know the steering is adjustable the seats adjustable i mean i'm six five it's a little bit tight but it was bigger than one of the other competitors and to be honest most every machine i get in is just a little bit tight oh boy let me look at this one first. I came across it once, but I'm not sure if I want to do it again. Let's see if I can capture all these icons when you fire it up. Okay, this one here, I've never seen that one come on, which is probably a good thing. I think it's a warning you're on too steep of an angle. Okay, as far as the display, I, uh, I like it. You can adjust it. Let me see if I can toggle through them here quick. So you have over here, you have uh, your mode and your arrows. And you can toggle through what you want to be displayed. You can click the mode on it. You got mile per hour, RPMs, uh, temperature. So in each one of these, you can change I almost forgot, but I like the temperature on there because I keep an eye on that. And then the miles per, mile per hour usually is right up on here. There's a huge dial if I can figure out how to get it there. So there's your uh, tack is on the outside and then the mile per hour shows on the inside. And here it also shows what, what wheels are engaged, what, you know, what drive you're in. As far as the dump bed, uh, you could see that we use it quite regularly around the property. Uh, I'm going to try and think of what the heaviest load that I put in there, but it's very useful. It's bigger than the uh, competitor, I think the Can-Am. And it's a, this is a manual tilt. I think you do have a, a, a option for a hydraulic tilt but I picked a manual tilt and it works just fine. So overall, this thing has been really awesome. Was it expensive? Yeah, it was. I got like three or four more years that I'm gonna be paying on it, but it's nice when you can get out in the weather with the heat and the air on and the cab out of the rain when you otherwise wouldn't get out in the weather. So. 
For all of them reasons, it's definitely been a four plus star for me and I look forward to hopefully many more years of using it. So don't forget if you like our content, hit the like button and subscribe and share our stuff out there so we can grow our family here on YouTube. So thanks a lot. I'll catch you on the next go around.